Hefley finds some skating room to the Brandon line. Lee straddles the line to keep it onside. Hefley to the corner. Hooks it in front to catch his rob by Papirny. Works out from behind the Raider net. Rips it down the middle. The pass deflects to Reed Gardner. He's into Brandon territory. Curling to the wall and cycling it down low to Glover. Gardner takes the return pass. Scores! What a sneaky snapper short side. And it's 1-0 Raiders. Here come the Wheat Kings. Klimchuk with a pass through the slot, but Magali was covered by Mackenzie Stewart. Magali picks up the puck, centers it. McBride with a big pad save on the one-timer by Klimchuk. 3.55 left in the first. It's 1-0 Raiders this period for Farm World of Prince Albert. Now it's Gennaro weaving and dealing to Sawyer Lang, who's into the rush. Lang around one man, puts it in front, scores! Mamma mia, Matteo Gennaro gets another one, and it's 2-0 Raiders. Now Brendan Gooley turns on the Jets against Duncan Campbell. Blows in across the Brandon line. Works wide on Eric Roy. Hooks it in front. Bouncing puck around. Shot by Gennaro. Stop. They score in the rebound. Craig Leverton makes it 3-0. Prince Albert on the power play. But Bucart, or Bucart said is, is checked by Vanstone. And it's Leverton working a two-on-one to the right wing circle. Cutting it off. Dropping it off. But the shot by Vanstone is blocked with Papirny down. Chase Harlock down the right wing boards, drops it off, but that's right onto the stick of Darcy Zahara, Chuck. He'll lead a three on two, a four on two. It's across to Reed Gardner, front to Stewart. Shot stopped by Papirny, he jumps on the rebound. A nicely set up four on two rush by the Raiders, but Papirny made the big save off Big Mac. Oh, just ask Tim Vanstone about that. No kidding. Ryan Pilon from the face off is pushed around the net, loses the puck. Centering pass gets through to Gardner. It's in front, they score! Austin Glover! On a broken play, bouncing puck, but he dishes it home and it's 4-0 Prince Albert. Reed Gow quickly outlets to Rehard Bukarts. The Latvian down the right side, crosses the Raider line, tries to drop it off. Harlock takes the puck, sets the screenshot on goal and scores. Just as Simon Stransky stepped out of the penalty box, and the Wheat Kings are on the board. Around the net to the other side, dishes to Pilon at the point. Lion Pilon bounces one back and low for Magali, who's centering passes, blocked by Gooley. Now Magali checked by Matteo Gennaro, but the Wheat Kings surround the puck, keep control as it's Klimchuk around the net now. Klimchuk centers for Magali, and he scores! The Wheat Kings all of a sudden back to within two. It's scooped to the open corner. York beaten to the puck by Bukarts, who sends it to the opposite point. Urkamp fires one after the ricochet off the wall. McBride with the save. He scrambles to get back into position. Bukarts again. Backdoor pass, and they score. Jace Harlock makes it a one-goal hockey game as, again, the Raiders were subject to a fire drill. It's the Raiders for the Weak Kings three. Mackenzie Stewart takes the drop pass. His stick breaks on an attempted pass, and he's the lone man back, so he bumps Magali. But the Wheat Kings are on the puck. Centering pass to Eric Roy. His quick shot misses high. Jesse Lees picks it up off the ricochet, but is stripped of the puck by Klimchuk. Loose puck in front, but McBride has it between the pads after taking it away from Tim Magali. And holy Hannah, what another fire drill after an unfortunate happening to big Mackenzie Stewart. Dylan Stewart touches up, and now we got a fight. Vanstone and Colton Walls. Vanstone scores with an uppercut. Walls trying to throw some over the top. Vanstone was going off for the original penalty, and then these two decided to dance. Vanstone trying to throw some jabs. Walls trying to score over the top, but these two big, strong boys have each other wrapped up pretty well. And the linesmen are letting them just tire each other out as Vanstone gets his hand in the face of Waltz, but Waltz has Vanstone wrapped up through Willow and last uppercut, and that'll be it for the two combatants. Only Jordan Papirny sets it up for Reed Gow. Out comes the 20-year-old, former Spokane Chief. Gow steps to the Raider line, dishes it off. Harlock gets it through to Eric Roy, who's in on goal. He centers for Harlock, and he gets the hat-trick to tie the hockey game as the Raiders came back to full strength. 
will steer it to Peter Quinville. Here come the Wheat Kings now. It's across to Tim Magali, who pulls up back to Quinville. Pad save, rebound, and missing a wide open net was Morgan Klemchuk. Right off the wall to Jesse Lees, and back come the Raiders. Lees to center. Feathers went deep into Brandon territory. Goaltender Jordan Papirny taps it off for Eric Roy, who's checked. It's into the goal, though. They jam away, but Papirny makes the save on Lees to catch pivots and shoots, but he's in too deep to catch against centers for Stransky. Scores! Simon says, I won't miss two in a row, and it's 5-4 Raiders. Passes off a skate, grabbed by Coulter, who drops to Duncan Campbell. He'll hand off to Schmier, stopped short side by McBride, who makes the second save. Puck loose. It's jabbed right through the goal mouth to the far boards. 30 seconds to go. Six attackers out for Brandon, and they're pressing in PA territory. Gardner out battles Eric Roy for the puck. Here's Austin Glover with a chance at the open net, and he scores! Great play by Reed Gardner at the line to turn the puck over. Glover seals the deal into the empty net with 29 seconds to go.